Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Today I have another hot sauce review for the Angry Goat Pepper Company. And this is the uh, second one in their Forbidden series. Now, you remember, uh, if you did watch my review for the first one in the Forbidden series, that was for the Hot Cock. And what follows up a Hot Cock? Uh, well, we have the Sweaty Beaver from the Angry Goat Pepper Company. To take a look at that, a really awesome labels. Now, but this is sent to me from Jason and Roberta Parker. Uh, they're located up there in Bradford, Vermont. And uh, they are continuing with their animal themes with these. So really awesome. Now, the third and the fourth one will be released later on uh, in the fall, I believe, uh, as part of the Forbidden series. But let's go ahead and get into this one. Um, once again, I've said this before. The Angry Go Pepper Company has some tremendous products. Uh, pepper jams are awesome. All of their hot sauces are just really, really outstanding, highly recommended products. Uh, this company is really going places, winning lots and lots of awards. I've said it before. I think you're going to be hearing a lot more about them. The Angry Goat Pepper Company in 2016 and going forward. Uh, awesome flavor profiles. So just doing a, a great job. Uh, let me go ahead and read it from the website. It's a little bit easier. This one in the Forbidden Series is uh, rated 8 out of 10 uh, for heat. And they say, at Angry Goat Pepper Company, we make all of our products in small handcrafted batches in Vermont. Sweaty Beaver Hot Sauce is a taco-style uh, hot sauce that combines super hot peppers with smoked maple syrup and cumin. Wow. Uh, it seems like a lot of companies are uh, getting into the taco, doing their own style taco sauce, which is really awesome. It says, this sauce will make you sweat in all the right places and your mouth drip with anticipation. Have you ever, have you had your dose of Sweaty Beaver today? Try Sweaty Beaver on steak, chicken, eggs, pizza, or Mexican cuisine. A forbidden series sauce. Now here's the ingredients, so listen to this. Chili pepper blend, which contains chocolate habaneros, maruga scorpion, red butt jalokia, that's ghost peppers, dried New Mexican red uh, chili peppers, cider vinegar, water, lime juice, lemon juice, smoked Vermont maple syrup, granulated garlic, sea salt, smoked paprika, and cumin. All right, let's get into this. Uh, beautiful looking color. It looks like a nice, dark, um, rich sauce. It's creamy. Everything is pureed up. Kind of looks like a dark chocolate mole type sauce. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, check out the aroma of this sweaty beaver. Okay, wow. Now, the first two things that I get when I uh, smell this is I get that uh, super hot pepper blend. You can tell it's, you've got super hot peppers in there with the chocolate habs, the maruga scorpions, the butchalokias, and the New Mexican chilies, dried Mexican chilies. Then also get kind of a nice uh, citrus blast. It's got to be coming from that combination of both the lime juice and the lemon juice. And it's just got a nice uh, slightly smokiness to it, kind of a nice rich, dark, earthy type richness to it. Um, I believe I can pick up just ever so faintly the uh, smoked maple syrup, just kind of that the vibe. It's not real mapley. It's not real pronounced, but I believe it's just kind of a, Hidden in there just a little bit. I think I can I can pick up a faint aroma of that. And, you know, I'm definitely picking up kind of the cumin that's a spiciness. Earthy, smoky, a little bit sweet. Yeah, but right off the bat, you get that blast of you know, that uh, super hot pepper blend and a nice kind of a zesty um, uh, citrus notes. Doesn't smell vinegary. All right, really nice aroma on this one. All right. Now, 8 out of 10, so this is going to be pretty hot. Uh, usually, uh, Jason is pretty accurate with his um, uh, heat ratings for the most part. I usually score him a little bit lower, but uh, he's pretty pretty on the spot. All right, here we go. Doesn't that look good? Mm. Wow. Smooth, rich, creamy hot. <laughs> um, it's not overpowering hot, but it's up there, but uh, it's got a nice uh, level of heat on it. 
but just a really nice flavor. Um, you get the uh, you get those super hops. You can tell they're in there. You can taste them. You get kind of a nice earthy, rich, um, slightly smoky. It's not overly smoky. And it's not overly sweet as well. Um, but I love the fact that uh, he put uh, dried New Mexican chilies in here. Gives it that earthy richness. Um, the spices are coming through. The garlic, you know, the uh, the cumin, the smoked paprika. It's not overly smoky. It's not vinegary. It's not salty. Really, really nicely blended. Um, not a real taco seasoning type of uh, flavor on this one. So I really, it's not limited to be a... A taco sauce. I mean, it, I think it is a taco style, like he says. Ooh, it's getting harder to talk sauce, uh, but more of a um, kind of a Mexican type sauce, or maybe you know something like uh, leaning more towards a mole, a super hot mole type of sauce in a way. Uh, but very rich, earthy, slightly sweet, uh, slight taco flavorings. You know, coming from the cumin, uh, zestiness from the lime and the um, the uh, lemon so really really good um now this is <coughs> excuse me Woo, it is pretty hot now this is a type of hot sauce i think it'd be good you know dark meat steak things like that burgers pulled pork sandwiches grilled chicken uh tacos burritos enchiladas any type of mexican cuisine would just be awesome but here's a picture of what i made i put this on top of a mexican omelet it was filled with sausage cheddar cheese, black beans, onions, and then I topped it with sliced avocado and just poured the sweaty beaver on top of it. And that was outstanding. Really, really good. Um, so flavor, uh, another winner, Jason, uh, flavor. I'm going to give this a strong nine out of 10. Really, really good stuff. All over nice, super hot burn, but not unbearable. I think you've got it rated just right, uh, for, you know, for the mass market, for the retail market, eight out of 10. Um, but I'll give it a strong 7 out of 10 for my, my heat rating. Really, really good. This is a type of hot sauce that's way up there in heat, uh, but it is not so hot that you really just can't pour it on and really enjoy it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So really, really good stuff. Uh, highly recommended products. Make sure you check them out at theangrygoatpepperco.com. That is the website. Link will be down in the description. Give them a like on Facebook if you haven't already. Uh, once again, all of their products are outstanding. They've got something for everybody. Some very unique and very cool flavor profiles and very hot ones as well. All right, Jason and Roberta, thank you so much for sending it. I do appreciate it. And everybody, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for lots more reviews. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.